on today's Designing Spaces. Navigating the home loan process doesn't need to be daunting. We get the step-by-step -step guide from the mortgage experts. Designing a room for your children? Jennifer Bertrand shows you how to pull off a room that's full of character. If you're thinking about an outdoor design project, you need to use a material that's both durable and versatile. And if you're looking for decking with a wood grain finish, but without all of the maintenance hassle, don't go anywhere. Time to design. Home ownership is the pinnacle of the American dream. Many people say there is no better investment than real estate because of the equity that can be gained by owning property. Mortgage advisor Jesse Prince acts as a mortgage matchmaker at Sierra Pacific Mortgage's Charlestown, West Virginia branch. The very most important first step is going to be to speak with your mortgage advisor. This is going to ensure that you have a firm understanding of your budget. Your realtor is going to thank you for being prepared. There are many benefits to home ownership. There may be some tax benefits. We encourage you to speak with your CPA or licensed tax professional. And perhaps one of the most important benefits is the sense of community and home and a place to raise your family. If you're beginning to think about taking out a mortgage, check your credit score. If it needs to be improved, speak to a financial advisor who can provide you with educated tips and take a close look at your spending habits. When we're determining your ability to qualify for a mortgage, one of the most important guiding factors is going to be your ability to repay that mortgage. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior, and that's why we look at your credit score and your credit report. One of the guiding principles in qualifying you for your mortgage is going to be your debt to income ratio. It's a comparison of your gross monthly income to your existing monthly debts that you're obligated to pay, and then we layer in your proposed housing expense to ensure that that total number is within that particular loan program's guidelines. There is a difference between being pre-qualified and pre-approved. When you're pre-qualified, we're doing a simple evaluation of your income, your credit, and your debts. We elevate that a step higher through a pre-approval. We're going to collect your asset information, verify that income, and run preliminary underwriting. When it comes to multiple offers, put yourself in the position of the seller. You're going to look for your highest net and lowest risk. At times, an offer with financing that is pre-approved may offer them a greater net. If we can really make them feel comfortable by having that pre-approval firmly in place, you may just win over that cash offer. Depending on the type of loan being utilized, some home buyers put down as little as 0%. Mortgage advisors at Sierra Pacific Mortgage present clients with options and calculate the monthly payment amount based on different down payment scenarios. There are many mistakes that first time buyers and even seasoned home buyers might make. Perhaps you think you need to have 20% down. Perhaps you think you have to have all of your debt paid off. Perhaps you think you need to take every penny of money that you saved and apply it to your home purchase. In fact, that may not be true. There are times where applying a lesser down payment and saving some of that money for your future needs might just make more sense. If we max out every last penny that you have to spend, you may not be able to buy that new couch or upgrade the kitchen or spend time going out to eat even on the weekends with your friends and family. Thanks to the many loan options available, home ownership is more accessible than ever. If you're a renter, did you know that you're already making a mortgage payment? It's just not your own. You're likely paying the note for your landlord. When we're talking about the rate associated with your mortgage, we're typically talking about whether it is fixed or adjustable. A fixed rate mortgage will limit your risk. It's going to secure that rate and that's going to be the basis for interest paid over the term of your loan. Another important decision to make as it relates to your loan is the term. We have everything from a 10 year, 15, 20, 25, and 30 year term. One of the most popular loan offerings at Sierra Pacific Mortgage right now is our cash out refinance. We find that our clients are leveraging the equity in their home for a variety of reasons. It might be to pay off credit card debt, to fund a child's education, to do some improvements to their home. Although a cash out refinance does involve increasing the principal balance owed on your mortgage, it can still represent a cash flow positive situation for your household budget. Sierra Pacific Mortgage has adapted during the pandemic in order to continue servicing clients. Clients are welcome to visit one of their 100 plus branches in person or complete all paperwork digitally, making it convenient for people who prefer to handle matters remotely. I'm extremely fortunate to work for a very technology forward company who has spent an immeasurable amount of money to make sure that our clients can transact electronically, online, on the phone, through email with ease. We even have a great app called SPM Go. You simply download it to your phone, you can apply online, check payment calculations, and even upload necessary documents for your underwriting approval. 
Better yet, you can keep track of your loan along the way. One of my very favorite features of the SPM Go app is the ability to share it with my realtor partners. Sierra Pacific Mortgage has been family owned for more than 35 years. They have licensed mortgage advisors in 49 states nationwide, including Washington, D.C. In addition to first-time homebuyers, current homeowners are taking advantage of the low mortgage rates to refinance their existing home, purchase a vacation home, and buy an investment property. To learn more, call 800-844-6032 or visit YourSierraMortgage.com or DesigningSpaces.tv. On this episode of Designing Spaces, we've called on award-winning designer Jennifer Bertrand to create the ultimate Space Jam, a new legacy room makeover for a special South Florida family. We are a family of five, three beautiful boys, born and raised here in Miami, Florida. The boys need the makeover because they decided they wanted to be in a room together. And with three of them in one room, you can kind of imagine it's been kind of tight. And now Danny's segueing into that age where, you know, he needs a more grown up room. So if he wants to stay with his brothers, we think this would be a great idea to give him the most space to have fun in and play games in. Their sons, Daniel, Andre, and Adrian, are all huge basketball enthusiasts and absolutely love LeBron James. The boys have absolutely no clue that their room is going to be decked out, inspired by the new Space Jam, a new legacy film. Now that Jen is almost there, the boys are heading out so that the ladies can get to work. Bye! Let the fun begin. I'm excited to see the room. I'm excited to show it to you. So this is their room. I love that three boys fit in here. Absolutely tight, but they fit. I know, right? We want to get a whole like young boy lifestyle moment in here, but three boys, growing boys, is hard to do it. Now, let me ask you this. Who sleeps where currently? Well, currently Adrian, the smallest six-year-old, sleeps here. Daniel sleeps on the lower bunk. He's nine. And then Andre, who's eight, sleeps on the top bunk. If I can make one of them like a hideaway trundle, would that work okay? That would work perfectly. Okay. I might try that just for the sake of like having space to also chillax and hang out. Right. And then we'll probably do something to the closet. Is there anything I can't touch or do? I should start with that? No, you're kind of entitled to do whatever you want. I'm <sighs> gonna admit I'm gonna give it all to you and then just cross my fingers. You are speaking my love language. <laughs> this is amazing. While Marisol works on decluttering the room and creating more space, Jennifer goes straight for her paintbrush, adding vibrant colors and texture to what was once just a blank canvas. In a boy's room, you want to have a calming place to sleep, and then you want to have some color and happiness, because no kid says, my room is the perfect shade of gray. The Space Jam bedding has some color and pattern on it, so I thought what better than to do like a color portal by the door and into the closet. So fingers crossed that I'm good at what I do and it looks good. Now that Jen is done with the walls, it's time to get the new furniture in and bring the room to life with some innovative decor elements and loads of Space Jam on new legacy products. We're almost done with the makeover. Now it's time to start putting in the decor and accessories, all the fun stuff that I love. I was able to shop at Walmart and walmart.com to get all of this fun stuff, which, oh my gosh, who doesn't want their own little LeBron? Oh my God, it's amazing. I love Space Jam because honestly, only LeBron could be the one to carry it and pull it off. So now there's a whole new legacy that's gonna love Space Jam. Look at this. They are excited. They are excited with the new movie coming out, that's for sure. With just a couple of hours left before the big reveal, Jen and Marisol kick into overdrive and race to put the final touches on everything. Adrian, you have a secret bed. What do you think? Oh, oh you do. Cool. How do we oh. do? Does it look the same at all? No. Um, can I just tell you how many cool things you have from the new Space Jam movie? Oh You've got stuff for school, stuff for games, yes, toys. I'm mean taking out of this unit. Look at it. Go ahead. Start <laughs> looking at it. Do you want to revamp your child's room with a Space Jam theme? 
Visit walmart.com slash Space Jam and shop all of your favorite Space Jam A New Legacy products. Stay tuned for a sneak peek of Space Jam A New Legacy in theaters and on HBO Max July 16th. Slightly north of the Golden Gate Bridge, you enter Sonoma County, California, with acres upon acres of vineyards, wineries, and tasting rooms. The region is best known as wine country. Driving further north into Humboldt and Mendocino counties, you find the heart of the Redwood region, where the towering Redwood forests are found. Buckle up your tool belt and sharpen your saws, because Jessica Hewitt from Humboldt Sawmill is here to tell us about the types of projects you can create using redwood timbers. Timbers are defined as pieces of wood that are six inches thick or thicker. Popular uses of redwood timbers are larger projects for which you would need larger pieces of wood. Pergolas, shade structures, driveway entryways, arbors, maybe even putting an outdoor kitchen to make that outdoor living space more functional and more beautiful. Redwood has been popular for a really long time to create garden boxes in particular. There are several reasons for that. It's non-toxic, so it won't impart anything harmful to, to plants. And it's very easy to work with. Just anyone with regular woodworking tools can easily use it. A lot of people will use a redwood planter box for tomatoes, peppers, all of those types of things. Woodworking projects are very popular on Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. We recently partnered with an influencer who built a really beautiful blanket ladder out of redwood two by twos. She documented the project on YouTube and created a full blog post with all the instructions. So really anyone at home could create the same project and have a beautiful piece to show off heirloom blankets or handcrafted items in their own home. Redwood timbers aren't only used by homeowners to upgrade their outdoor living space. Businesses, such as restaurants and wineries, have installed picnic tables, decks, and pergolas to offer patrons expanded and shaded patios to dine al fresco and enjoy other amenities. Today we made a pit stop at Sonoma Raceway. In 2015, the racetrack added a 135-foot redwood deck at turn two. Pergolas were also constructed to shade concession areas, ADA seating, and picnic tables. So we are here right now at the real strong Humboldt Redwood Deck, which is an enhanced seating area, kind of one of the best places to watch the race. Having this beautiful natural area that fits in with the setting that we're in, but also provides uh, you know, a little break from the heat and a little shade is something that our fans really enjoy. Sonoma Raceway is just so happy to have the partnership with Humboldt Sawmill for an area like this. Our ability to take the redwood material that's so native to Northern California and incorporate it into our raceway was something that we thought was going to be a great benefit for our fans. A venue like Sonoma Raceway is a highly trafficked area. Redwood is a very durable wood species and can handle the traffic on the turn two deck, as well as the sun and other environmental elements on the pergolas throughout the property. Redwood is a very durable, natural wood species. The redwood heartwood is naturally resistant to termites and decay, and that does give it the long-lasting durability that works well in a heavily trafficked outdoor application. Your typical redwood deck can last about 25 to 30 years with regular maintenance. A redwood pergola could last even longer. A redwood deck, in terms of maintenance, is regular cleaning with a garden hose, and then for a refinishing, maybe every three to five years at most. Humboldt Sawmill Redwood Timbers and Dimensional Lumber are sourced from company-owned timberlands, totaling 440,000 acres. Two sawmills and nine distribution centers bring products to end users. All Humboldt Sawmill products are manufactured with the environment and sustainability in mind. Each year, our company grows more trees than are harvested annually. We have obtained Forest Stewardship Council certification. For us, growing trees for the future is important, not just for this generation, but for future generations as well. Feeling inspired to take on your next DIY project? 
or maybe you prefer to leave the heavy lifting to a licensed contractor. Either way, head to getredwood.com slash redwood slash timbers or designingspaces.tv to learn more. Redwood timbers from Humboldt Sawmill are sold at lumber yards and home improvement retailers. My name is Jeff Klein. These are my daughters, Skyla and Reese. Today, we're working on a really cool project to surprise mom. I've been promising my wife to put a deck in the backyard for the longest time. The girls are gonna take mom to the spa. They're gonna have an awesome day being pampered. And when they get home, mom's gonna be in for a real treat. Tyler, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing great. Tyler from Knotwood stopped by to help Jeff with the surprise for his wife. Being from the Northeast, we love the wood look, but wood's a concern. Yeah, especially in the Southeast, you're gonna have to deal with the moisture, the rotting, the mildew, uh, and then also the termites. Originally, Jeff wanted a wood deck. Uh, we actually convinced him against it because of uh, the weather, the Southeast with the humidity and the bugs, uh, the maintenance on it would have just been astronomical. So what we're gonna do today for you is we're gonna install knotwood, and what knotwood, it's gonna alleviate all those concerns. Knotwood is an aluminum product that gives you the look and feel of wood without the limitations of wood. With the aluminum, you don't have to worry about the rust, you don't have to worry about heat. Uh, basically, it takes all the worries away with the deck. We've already set the framing out for it. We're gonna install the knotwood and then you'll have a deck for years to come without all the maintenance. When my wife gets home from the spa today, I'm just curious to see how long it takes her to realize it's not wood. So we're gonna actually show Jeff how to uh, use some tools that he hasn't used before and actually install the deck. It's really straightforward, really easy, and uh, we'll get started. Hey, what's up, Tyler? I'm glad you could finally join us. Yeah, I would have been here sooner, but I had to put my belt on. That, that's nice. My wife has actually accused me of not being very handy. So I usually call somebody to do all the work for me, but I want to be the guy. I want to learn we, how we to help get you put you this in. deck we together. We can put you to work. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So uh, what we could do is you help me grab that side of the board, and what we're going to do is we're going to feed this, this end loop here into the previous one, and then... Okay, and then we just lay it on down, slide it again so it's flush. Uh, now it's so easy to install that I'm pretty sure Jeff can do it himself. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start screwing this in. What do you think? Good. Now, only 8,000 more to go. Oh, you want me to do all of them <laughs> yeah. now? I see how this is Holy gonna God. work. Man, I am working like a dog. My wife better appreciate this. Wow, this deck's looking really nice. It's coming together. What are you thinking so far? I think it's looking great. Along with the deck, Jeff is also installing a privacy wall using another color of knotwood. Wow, Jeff, this is looking fantastic. I think the quilla gives a great contrast to the driftwood. We're home. Hey guys. Hey. Come on outside. I got steaks on the grill. Let's eat. Oh, what did you do while I was gone at the spa? How are you guys? Oh, oh my God. What is Thanks. this? While uh -oh. you guys were at the spa, I've been working hard with my friend Tyler from Notwood. You've Not been Wood. working hard or Tyler? How are you doing? We've both been working hard. Yeah, you have to check this out. You better yeah. forward that yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I definitely It's have hard to believe. That. I know. I know. Yeah. Good job, honey. I really can't believe it's not wood. I know, right? It's amazing. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.